Today we are going to learn how to convert a photo into an art style in Photoshop. So let's get started. Before we start to make the effect, it's important to get the basics first. And don't skip in between, see it till the end and I'm sure you will not regret it. So Photoshop have this history panel in Windows history. Its main work is to show you the history of steps you taken in the file. Let me show you an example. I'm going to fill white color on this layer, press Alt Backspace, now black, now again white. You can see our steps are creating history in the history panel and we can also go back to our previous step with just one click. It means in the designing process you can literally go back in the past and in the present. Right now the past is the original image. Now when we choose the history brush tool and paint over this area, you can see the original image coming out of white layer. Let me show you another thing. Click on the original image. Now we are back to our original state and we crop the top portion and again fill it white. Now when we use the art history brush and paint over this document, it is giving this error. Could not use the history brush because the current canvas size does not match that of the history state. It means the current state is different from the original state. So to resolve this issue, undo it for now. Click on history panel options, new snapshot. Let's rename it final after crop. Click OK. Now there are two images on the top of history panel. Now click in front of final after crop layer. It will switch the history brush tool. Now fill again white layer. Take the history brush tool and paint over. You don't see any errors now. By just created a new snapshot, you actually changed the history. Let's undo it for now. Let's choose a different brush that I have already created. Right click. Click on this line brush. You can download this brush for free, the link is in the description. But right now the brush is giving results that we really don't want. We need to adjust the brush setting. Go to Windows, Brush. Take on Shape Dynamics and increase the spacing to 47%. Take on Scattering as well and decrease the scatter to 125%. Right click and adjust the size you want. Now let's check it. The results are looking pretty good. Now undo it for now and take the Art History Brush tool to see the magic. Set the style to tight medium and just by clicking on every corner and in the middle you get these art lines. Isn't this magic? It's like I'm literally drawing something on the canvas and when we click longer we get fast lines. Now it's looking quite artistic. Take the history brush tool and apply it on the face and the head. If you think there are more white spaces, switch to art history brush tool and fill those spaces. Let me tell you each brush will get different results. So it's up to you what kind of brush style you use, lines, merge, grunge. So throughout this process you need to use both brushes. You can also create this effect on different background colors or even transparent background. Let's fill it black. Take the art history brush tool and click on the canvas. Look how fast we get these results. Now switch to history brush tool and paint over the image. If you learn something new hit the subscribe button and don't forget to comment your opinion is very important to me let me know in the comment section how was the tutorial my name is shubham thank you so much for watching graphic Aina. let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being goodbye